Let's, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into my daily beats. <laughs> I pulled out the bogle from like 1990. <laughs> You're probably like, what the hell is the bogle? The one that goes. <laughs> anyway, first beat. You know how sometimes you see stuff that just wants to make you say enough already? Enough already! <laughs> well, forget you then. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. This one did it for me. I saw on USA Today's website that one of the hottest costumes for Halloween this year is Ebola healthcare worker. <laughs> yes. That's right. I know it might be initially funny for a second, but it's complete with hazmat suits and goggles. The idea is causing a lot of chatter on Twitter. Some people are all for it. Like this guy. <laughs> I just found my Halloween costume slash future Ebola protection uniform for the rest of my life. <laughs> but a lot of other people think it is in poor taste, like this tweeter. If you wear an Ebola-themed costume for Halloween, I will not only defriend you, I will dedicate my considerable energy to destroying you. That's crazy. I mean, some things are scary funny, other things are scary for real. I don't think we can take this lightly. I don't think we're at the, the Halloween costume stage yet. This is for real. So for this trend, I gotta say, enough already. Enough already! Enough already, I'm not with that. All right, next beat. Here's something different, but it's so different. It's so good different. Who here would take a selfie be honest, because I can see you already getting ready to lie. <laughs> Who here would take a selfie as soon as you wake up? No makeup, hair and all. Like five of you out of 200. That's a <laughs> damn shame. Well, your friends may be asking you to do it, so you better go to bed with a full beat, honey, and hair, because <laughs> there, there's a new viral fundraising challenge from UNICEF that's sweeping social media. It's called the wake up call selfie. It's kind of like the ice bucket challenge, but you know, this one you don't have to get cold and wet or even out of bed. Uh, you just pose in the morning, you take a selfie with the hashtag wake up call, and you donate $8 to UNICEF's emergency fund for Syrian children. Then, the challenge, then you challenge your friends to do the same. Uh, celebrities like Naomi Campbell are doing it. But maybe that's how Naomi Campbell wakes up in the morning, honey. <laughs> Just the underlash and the whole nine is fantastic. <laughs> Paris Hilton is jumping on board. Got the doggy. I'm definitely going to sleep with a full beat and lashes on. My hair might be a little messed up, but other than that, um, I'm gonna jump on board. So I hope you do too. And we, I want to see some real photos. I want the one where your hair is all this way, you know, and this running eyeliner from those who didn't get it off the night before. <laughs> some, sometimes. Or it can just be fantastic. But anyway, UNICEF is hoping the flood of photos will make the people wake up to the plight of the Syrian kids' uh, struggle. So even if you're not ready to show the world your bedhead, you can still donate to the cause. Just hit my website, queenlatifah.com, to find out how. All right, next beat. A few days ago, I told you about a machine that creates selfies in mayonnaise <laughs> on your hamburger. And to that, I said, come on. Enough already with the self-absorption. I suggest that we start a new trend, which was taking photos of other people and called it a somebody else -y. <laughs> <laughs> So the hashtag kind of caught on, and somebody else -y started popping up all over Twitter, and I loved looking through them on my feed. I had to show you a couple of them. At II Samba took a somebody else of her poker partners. That dog's got a hot hand, or is that a hot claw? 
And Dr. Aisha says her little guy picked out his own clothes. Oh. See what his shirt says. Ah, king of the castle. Not yet, not till you're 18 and paying these bills. I know that's right, right, mamas? <laughs> um, and finally, at Maria G, took a somebody else of her best friend. Harry the cat even wore a little tie for the occasion. Thank you, Harry. Let's keep up the somebody Elsie trend going on. Post your pictures with the hashtag somebody Elsie and QL show. And maybe yours will get picked to be right here on my show.